love preparing my sauce. I'm like, we're gonna do my sauce for my salad. We're gonna put some tomatoes and garlic in there. Wait until you see how easy it is to do. The only way to do it is the way I'm gonna show you how to do it. The only way to cook a mussel is to steam one. We're gonna put a little bit of extra virgin olive oil in there, and we're gonna put a little bit of onion, and we're gonna sweat the onion, okay? While the onion is sweating, let's talk a little bit about mussels. Now, you can see this mussel is open right there. Now, does that mean that this mussel is dead? No, it doesn't. It means that then uh, she's sleeping, she or he, I don't know. Uh, she's sleeping with her mouth open. Uh, Rich, I'm telling you, that's what happened. No, look, we're gonna wake her up. Okay, wake up. Wake up, look, 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 look what happened. Hello. I hope you can see it. Wake up, look, 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 she's closing. She's like, leave me alone, I gotta go back to sleep. Look, look, look at it, that's it, look, see? My soul is closed. That's what happened. When they relax, they kind of open up a little bit and they said, okay, they sleep with their mouth open, you know? And the minute you make some noise, boom, they close right away, because they're alive. You want them to be alive. So you check around, and if you see an open one, wake her up. And or you, you may, you may want to grab him, and you may want to squeeze him like that. That'll wake him up even faster than banging on it. <laughs> and, uh, and if they don't close right away, put them aside and see. Maybe they have a tough time waking up. And we got the onion going out here now. Okay. Now we're going to put some... Um, uh, tomatoes, you know, chopped tomatoes. You can put some fresh herbs in there, like fresh thyme, fresh oregano. You can put a bit of parsley in there. And you can also put a little garlic. If you're cooking for me, go right ahead, put extra garlic, okay? And, uh, and then we're gonna mix all that up. Oh my goodness, if you could smell. This is unbelievable. And now we're gonna put some wine in there. Now do me a favor. If you cook some wine, cooks, mussels love good wine. They don't like cheap wine. Okay, give them good wine and measure very carefully. <laughs> you know what, if there is extra sauce, that's okay. And, uh, and if there is extra wine, that's perfectly fine also, all right? Now we're going to get the wine hot. So far, so good, right? I haven't done anything complicated. Now we're going to take the mussels. And we're going to put them right in here. And now the other secret of cooking mussels, folks, is to close it immediately. What's gonna happen is the, 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 the wine is gonna get very hot and the mussels are gonna say, man, it's really hot in here, what's going on? And they're gonna open up and the minute they open, the last thing they do is they go <gasps> and they soak up this marvelous wine with garlic and parsley and now they really taste good. And the minute they open, you have to stop cooking immediately otherwise they get rubbery. The minute you can see the steam coming out of the pot, you know that it's really, really hot in there. So you know they're opening right now. They don't wait that long. They're opening right now. And look, 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 look. Now that's that point. We want to check it around. We don't want to open it up until we see the steam coming out of the pot. And let's look. You know what? That's it. They are ready, folks. We do not want to overcook them. Oh, baby. Now, let me show you. There. Oh, ah, this is hot. I want, to show, I want to show you a plump muscle. This is what I mean by a plump muscle. Look at this baby. Oh, my goodness. Is that gorgeous or what? They are so plump. They're so delicious. Oh, mmm. Oh, mmm. Oh, 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 I love muscles. Especially when they have uh, onion and garlic and tomatoes in there and good wine. Oh, that's why you want to cook with good wine. They drink it all. I can taste the wine in there. Oh, yes. I definitely, I can taste the wine. Mmm. Mmm. Let's put them on a the plate now. At this point, you want to take your time to organize them on a plate. Or you just want to put them on a plate. Just simple. What I normally do is just take the time to fix them a little bit. But right now, I'm just going to put them quick. So I show you. You can certainly take the time to make them look really pretty in the plates. We can serve them like that, or you can take them all out of the shell, take that broth right there, put a little bit of cream, and you have a, a, a muscle bisque that is unbelievable. Try this recipe, I know you're going to love it.